Mutino from a community-based organization called Personal Initiative for Positive Empowerment or PIPE. It is based in Makadara. We are doing mostly advancing health, economic empowerment and sexual productive health uh, advocacy for women living with HIV. Uh, now, as I said, Mambo ya kizazi or reproductive health rights uh, is being violated. It is uh, an offense and we say that sexual and productive health rights need to be respected. Na, uh, especially kama mimi, wakati niliza mtoto wangu wa pili, daktari ya nisahishi or kunikoas, niweze kufungu wa kizazi kabisa. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu waliona mimi niko HIV positive, niko na watoto wa wili na napitia upasuaji kupata watoto. So, uh, liona kwamba it is not good because I might even die. Na unajua wakati daktari ya mekuambia kwamba utakufa, unajua unaogopa sana, unaona hii, hata kama ni kuna information kiasi gani, kwenye ya meona nini. Kwa hivyo ni kasain. Lakini badai ni kaona hai, ange nipatia habari kwanza, kisha niweze to make that informed decision. Hii ni mambo ya kama vile hiyo report inaonyesha violation of the rights of people living in HIV. We have a right to information. We have a right to make informed consent. And we have a right to make decisions for whatever life we choose to live, in even forming a family and giving birth to as many children as I want. Now, today, uh, some re surveys, survey results were released recently that uh, the youth are abstaining. I want you to comment on that because they say the youth abstain, but the rate of infection is increasing daily. What is abstinence? Abstinence ni ile ni when uh, a person literally does not have sex, you know, not even safer sex. It is safest sex because one is not engaging in sex. Okay, in Gawaji, that report showed that the youth are abstaining, but we have the issue of high prevalence rate infection in a occur. Lakini ningependa kusema, watu wanasema wana abstain, but are they really abstaining? Unajua there is nothing, there is nothing like sexual, sexometer to, to see whether people are having sex or not. They say they are abstaining, but is that really what they are doing? So if we could have a study, for example, to know exactly who is abstaining and who is engaging in sex, kwa sababu, this infection in a talk about me. On the other hand, there is what we call trans uh, gender or trans generation sex wakati watoto watu wakubwa wana yegemea watoto wadogo ama vijana ndio waweze kuwapatia pesa kwa mapenzi ama kukua na sex hiyo ndio maneno tunasema kama hii maneno inaweza kuwa addressed for example if the youth can be empowered economically hawawezi kuwa na hiyo trans generation sex so actually abstinence is very hard is Actually, we, we what are is no the longer, main challenge? We are, no longer selling the, we are no longer selling the idea of abstinence because it is not working. Issues to do with poverty, issues to do with gender issues, and issues to do with sexuality and your ways control to everybody else. Like in poverty, sana sana, in a like in a game,